Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen the update post. We pre-populating this all form we have seen. Now, when we click on this update post, we need to update the details. Let's do it. Where we are, we need to go into the update post component.html file and when the user submits this one on update post. Okay. On update post. So let's try to take this one on update post. Oh, sorry. So it should be something like submit, right? ng submit. Take the ng submit and let's call on update post. Now here we got the on update post and let's go to this update post.comprend.ts. So there is no need for us ng on init. So here also we can remove it. Sorry. And top also we can remove it on init. Fine, right? Now let's go here and in the down, I will write on update post. And here, what we need to do, we will be getting the let post details is equal to now here. I can write this dot post form dot value, and I need to get the ID so I can get the ID in a such a way that. So here we are having the post, right? So let's try to take the post ID. Okay, post ID of type string and first time it will be of type empty. There is no need to mention the string. So uh, here, let's go here. And in this tab operator, this dot post ID, right? This dot post ID is equal to, so this dot post ID is equal to post, post dot ID, sorry post dot id so let's save it so post dot id now we are getting an error here so if post dot id is there means then only take post dot id okay so this is the condition we can keep it automatically so whether we'll get an why still we are getting an output sorry we are getting an error so let it be so let's try to, let's try to see that one so if we go here so we are getting here error right so for example let's try to take post question mark dot id plus empty this can also be possible so now we should not get any error yeah we didn't get any error so now we got the post id and here i can write this dot post id here directly so we got the post details let's try to console and i will show you how the post details will be console dot log post details so with id we need so as we are doing the update post now we need to get the we need to know the id also so that is the reason i am adding the id in the post details also let's go to the inspect element and i will show you the output how it will look like where is this inspect element yeah in this console if i go to the console here i will click on the update post and i will try to click on the update post here we are able to get the title okay title description id and also uh, why, uh, yeah category id so if I try to change this data to something FS FS or FS FS, we'll try to see whether the data is getting updated or not. So networking, if I try, yeah, the data is getting updated and we are able to get the updated details. Now we need to send it to the update post. Now here, now the thing comes. So whatever we have did the previously the code, right? So now it will be very helpful for you. The add post is there. Now I need to add update post. So you will be getting the details of post of type i post okay so you will be able to get i post so let's try to import this i post so i post this one is taking so how much of time rather than that i can type it now here i can do that this dot post grad object sorry post grad subject dot next of and what is the type of action we know that the action should be of add edit or add update or delete so if you try to press enter you will be able to get this one update and the data we know that we need to pass the post data we got the post data and we are passing it so now simply i can call this update post right in this where i can see so in this update post dot component dot html sorry update post dot component dot ts file and here this dot post service so let's try to get the post service dot update post so we need to get the update post and we need to pass the post details post details so we are sending the post details so fine so when we send this update post details let's go to the declarative post dot 
service.es and here the update post is running right so update post is running so when this crud, crud, crud subject so crud, crud action is done means so which one will invoke so this merge will invoke so crud action will in, invoke and this save post will try to save the data so here we need to write now update post so here the post action is equal to equal to add means it is doing but it is not doing anything for the update so let's try to write for update also if post action dot sorry uh, yeah po, sorry post action post action dot action is equal to is equal to update if it is an update then what i need to do here i need to this dot update post to server i need to call the update post to server so update post to server what i need to send here so i need to send the post action post action where is this one post action dot data i need to send the data now here what i can do i will write the method update update post to server right update post to server sorry yeah we are we will be having the method no sorry we will be having the post post of type i post sorry i post we are sending this i post okay now here we need to run the patch so let's try to copy this one entire thing and we will convert it into patch so here you will be getting the patch okay and here you will be getting entire i post so here you will not get the name you will get i post and here this one is a post slash and what you need to do so here you need to write post dot id so this url will be in such a way that we need to send id dot json and it will send the complete post details and no need for these all the things so if you want you can send it or otherwise so you will get an idea or something so let's try to remove it okay so we'll see what will happen also okay update post to server and post of i post and this one will return the post details and if you go here so this update will return the post details and here you will not get any category name again in the update post service you will not get any category name again you need to concat map this category service and also you need to do the same process instead of doing this one what i will try to do is so here you will be having the post okay post details or something like this it is a dollar uh, sorry it is a dollar is equal to and i will try to write observable it is of type observable of i post okay it will take the observable of i post sorry not is equal to okay so it is of type observable of i post so let's import this observable so we need to import this observable yeah i hope i it got imported i think or otherwise let's keep it as exclamatory so that it will be or otherwise let's go top and try to import this observable so is it imported or not no so let's try to do observable observable whether it will come or not yeah it came and let's try to save this one also so come down and here you will be having post details observable of post and now what i need to do is here post details dollar is equal to i need to copy this one all and here also i need to not copy assign assign this one into the variable so this one also we have assigned and we need to here written post details okay post details why this one is taking so much of time i don't know so post details so pasting also it is not taking post details dollar and i can copy this one all i can copy this pipe and everything up to here i can copy it copy it okay without any problem and here i can paste it directly so after getting the details i can do this one so why what is this error we are getting all the time so let's try to see it okay we need to assign it to one variable right yeah so now hope the error will go away 
I don't know why this error is still coming. So let's try to see. Yeah, so hope uh, the error everything is has gone away and still is used before. Yeah, everything has gone away. So now here the post details we are sending. So here what we have did in the save post, we have taken observable of I post. And here I added the bank operator as the strict operator is true in the Angular 12. And uh, if I try to remove also it will work, I think I don't. Yeah. If the post.action is equal to equal to add means then we are adding it to pass server and update post also we are adding to server. And here we are getting stringer undefined, right? So that is the reason we will keep it as bang operator here. So that this error will go away. Now in this post details dot pipe and we are concatting whatever the post details we are getting it from the server whether it is through an add or an update we are adding the categories and we are sending it to the top and here what we will try to do so save post has been done and we need to modify the post so this time this is not an add this is an update so now what I can do if value dot action is equal to is equal to update okay and what I need to do here return post so we need to post dot file sorry map we need to send the post dot map and we need to send a post such that post dot id um, right post dot id is equal to is equal to so if post dot id is equal to is equal to value dot data dot id if this uh, post dot id and value dot id is matching means then you send the value dot data or otherwise send the post that's it I think hopefully this one is this one will update the data I'm thinking so so let's try to see the output if I click on the update post so let it get let it get update so if I click on this update post we are able to get the data and here I am trying to update 2323 oh, 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 oh. So what is the error so let's try to see here in this one so whether we are getting any error or not so okay okay, okay. it's compiled successfully it will refresh it again let's go to the network and here I'm updating the post and here I will try to change it to some other data and here also I will change it to electrical and here I will remove this one all so let's check the update post and we are updating the post and here it successfully updated see everywhere the place wherever you are using it got updated successfully and also if I click on update again we are able to get the data and here we don't have any high lila oh so we have so lila web dev i will try to add this lila web dev so we are able to successfully update the data lila web dev and here i will try to change it to computers let's see wherever that data so automatically the data everywhere it is getting updated and also if i try to refresh the page so you will be able to see the updated data also fine right so successfully we have did the updating the post data also in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to delete the post data post for the selected post so that the entire add update delete will be completed hope you understood about this updating post details if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you